A few brief words about this gospel. It comes from a section in Matthew's gospel that we dealt with on last Sunday and on the Sunday before, and we'll have an excerpt from this section on this Sunday coming. It's made up of seven parables about the kingdom. And uh, we had one two weeks ago. On last Sunday, the long gospel had three of the parables, and on this Sunday coming up, the longer gospel also has three. There are seven parables in this section in the Gospel of Matthew. You will remember the sower goes out to sow the seed, and he sows the seed, and it falls on various places and has a various response. And now, when Jesus comes aside with his disciples, he begins to explain to them the meaning of the parable about the sower going out to sow the seed. Keep in mind that in the time of Jesus, in the Palestine of the time of Jesus, they could sow the seeds in the spring or in the fall. The climate there is very moderate. Summers are, are warm, but the winters are not severe. So they can sow the seeds in the spring or in the fall, which tells us there are very frequent uh, opportunities for sowing the seed. We learned, as I preached on it before now, that it's the broken ground that receives the seed. But I'd like to talk about something just a little different for these few moments. That is that when the seed falls on the ground, um, the ground doesn't do anything. The energy comes from the seed. The one who receives the seed doesn't have to do anything. You have to allow the seed to fall. The energy, the power, the harvest doesn't come from anything the earth does. It comes from an energy inside the seed itself, and the seed being the Word of God, the seed being Jesus Christ. Jesus is the Word. Keep that in mind. Sometimes we think that we have to storm heaven and we have to do all sorts of things to get God's attention. And this parable would say, let God work in your life. Surrender to Jesus Christ. We have various ways of praying. We pray a novena and we do our various exercises in nine days novena. And we pray the rosary. I pray the rosary every morning. I prayed early this morning as I go for a walk. So we pray in various forms, but it is necessary to have the prayer of surrender. And this is the prayer where we really, in a very personal way, encounter Jesus Christ. So that when we come to the other prayers, we are very familiar with the Lord to whom we are praying. He's not distant, not remote. It's very personal, really belongs to us. Therefore, in this manner of prayer, which is symbolized in the seed here now, prayer is not something you do. Prayer is something you allow. You allow Jesus Christ into your life. It's a prayer of surrender. It's the prayer of humility. It's the prayer of something deeper inside ourselves. It's a movement, not in words, but it's a movement in the soul. Something much deeper. It's, uh, it's the prayer of listening. It's the prayer of connection. It's the prayer of silence. It's it's the prayer of the contemplative. To allow prayer to happen. Not to conquer it, not to achieve it. Some, you know, I did my rosary today, I said this today, I went to Mass today, I did, I achieved all these things. 
That's not what this parable speaks about. This parable speaks about letting the seed fall on the earth and then letting the energy of the seed bring forth a harvest. And the earth is just the venue in which the harvest will come to pass. So how do we, how do we exercise this prayer? Let me take a moment now. Wherever you are at home, just sit, relax, sit down. You're anxious about something. You're worried about your day. You're bored. You have a conflict in your life. Set all that aside. Set it aside. Take a deep breath. Let your hands drop softly. Don't control the moment. Surrender. Feel relaxed. Take a deep breath now. Close your eyes. Feel the pressure gone from your life. Feel you're going down your back. Feel your muscles relaxing. You're relaxed. You're peaceful. Take a deep breath. Breathe in. Be conscious of your breathing, breathing. Breathe in the seed. Breathe in Jesus, Jesus. Speak. Breathe in Jesus. Jesus, bless me. Jesus, give me peace. Jesus, calm my soul. Breathe in. Breathe in, Jesus. Let the word fall on the earth, on the emptiness of my life. Set everything else aside now. Breathe in. Breathe in. Jesus, give me peace. Breathe in, Jesus. Give me peace. Jesus, forgive me. That's the prayer of the parable. Now, don't do it for a long time. When you're beginning, just do it for five minutes. I don't want you to fall asleep while you're doing it. So, just do it for a short time. And then you will find that it will grow. And you can do this at any time, but you have to be alone. You have to be silent. You have to be peaceful. You can't have many, many things going on now. This is an invitation to let the seed fall on the earth and produce a harvest, a harvest of grace, a harvest of peace, a harvest of goodwill. The harvest that allows you to see things, to understand your day as a gift, an opportunity. It's wonderful. This is the gift of the seed falling on the earth and producing a harvest. That's what this parable is about. On Sunday, I think next Sunday, I'll speak about uh, this notion of the person of Jesus Christ being the center of your life. But for today, this is the teaching of the day. Amen.